Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 15.3 RC update on my iPhone 10R so from the screenshot that I had taken as you can see the update came in about 5.39 gigabytes about which we are going to talk about in this video so first let me show you one thing this is my iPhone 10R on which I have installed this update and it's been already one day that I have been using iOS 15.3 RC so in this video we're going to talk about that and also you know going to give you the benchmark performance and what are the new features included and is there any new modem firmware update included with iOS 15.3 update or not so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here on the channel and happen to enjoy this kind of video I would really love to have you subscribe and also if you're liking this video give this video a thumbs up now with that being said let's get right into the video All right guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and general and about section. So as you can see from the software version, if I could show you, as you can see, it says 15.3 and the build number is 19D49. So if Apple does not find any major bugs, so this will be the version iOS 15.3 that would be kind of released to public. So as of now, it is available for, you know, public beta testers and testers. So they can, you know, if you have a beta profile installed, you can download and install it so now talking about the update details as i've showed you so it came in about 5.39 gigabyte on my iphone 10r and as you can see from the release notes here it clearly says that ios 15.3 include bug fixes and security updates for your iphone and it is recommended for all the users so that's the screenshot that i had taken now you know one more thing i just wanted to show you so before updating as you can see it was on ios 15.3 beta 2 and the modem firmware was 4.02.01 and after updating to iOS 15.3 final build, which is kind of the RC update, the modem firmware has been updated to 4.02.02. Now, if you were worried about the network issues or frequent call disconnects, Apple has tried to fix on the network part. So you are getting modem firmware update with iOS 15.3 as well. So now let's talk about what's new with this iOS 15.3 update. So, you know, there are no major features that you would actually see with iOS 15.3 rather this you know update improves and you know focuses on the security fixes and the bug fixes so now also for you guys I have run the Geekbench 5 score as you can see with iOS 15.3 here are the details on my iPhone 10R I got a single core score of 1113 and the multi core score of 2663 now many of you also asked me about uh, this battery life so let me also go to the battery section and show you uh, before we talk about the battery graph and the details let me click on this battery health as you can see maximum capacity is 89 percent and you know i updated from ios 15.3 beta 2 to ios 15.3 and the maximum capacity remains the same so after updating to ios 15.3 rc the battery health has not been degraded now let me talk about the battery life as you can clearly see from the graph that this is, has been sort of my secondary device i have been using it as a secondary device so the screen on time is 59 minutes and the screen off time is 11 minutes i don't use this device as my primary device that's my iphone 12 which i use as my primary device but you know i would kind of say as you can see from the ui as well that the feedback app is gone so with ios 15.3 you could expect a little better battery life than the beta updates which was there with ios 15.3 beta 1 and beta 2 so let me know if you have any of you have installed ios 15.3 rc update on their iphone and using it how is the battery life you guys are getting so then again with the help of this video i just wanted to show you that we have received ios 15.3 rc update on my iphone 10r and soon you know this update would be released to the public now if you are not a beta tester or if you don't have you know ios beta profile installed on your iphone you would not be able to get this update so make sure 
that you have a beta profile installed on your iPhone in order to get this update otherwise you know if this update gets released to the public probably next week then you should be able to get the update if you're connected to Wi-Fi so then again this was a quick video me talking about iOS 15.3 RC update let me know in the comment section what and all more videos you would like to see about this iPhone 10R because now I have been using this device for more than three years and it's holding up pretty good so i'm planning to make a video on iphone 10r whether you should purchase it in 2022 people who are you know coming from android phone and trying to shift to iphone so let me know that if i should make kind of that video on my channel so let me know that your feedback is very very important to me so with that being said i will end this video now i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did then do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel until the next time i upload a new video Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.